Assalamualaikum and good day students. Uh, chapter 3.1 will be covering uh, static balancing. So this is uh, video number one. So what is the uh, balancing actually stand for? Balancing is a technique of uh, correcting or eliminating unwanted initial forces and moment in any rotating or reciprocating uh, machinery. If you look into this uh, table, you can see that there is two uh, type of uh, balancing of machinery, which is balancing of a rigid rotors and balancing of reciprocating machines. Balancing of a rigid rotor is also uh, there is a two type of uh, balancing of rigid rotor which is uh, static balancing and dynamic balancing. So what is the difference between static balancing and dynamic balancing? This is a typical uh, stirrer with a blade or we can say that this is a fan with a blade. If we are concerning about a static balancing, it means that the blade is only located at the same plane. So the red line, the dotted, the dot, the red, the red dotted line, is the uh, axis of rotation. While for the dynamic balancing. The blade is located at three different planes. And again, the red dotted line is referring to the axis of rotation. The balancing application, we can refer to the uh, wind turbine application. A machine is said to be perfectly balanced if there is no resultant force or moment that exerted by the machine to the mechanical component. So any excessive vibration will cause the uh, will cause damage to the internal component of the wind turbine. Initial or centrifugal forces of rotating equipment is referring to the centrifugal forces that uh, effect, uh, effect of centrifugal forces from any mass that moving in a circular path. So this is a three mass which is A, B and C. Like say the mass is uh, rotating within this uh, circular path. So there will uh, with a mass of M. So they will create a centrifugal force uh, acting towards the masses. The magnitude of uh, centrifugal forces is uh, explained by uh, the value of uh, centrifugal forces is the mr omega squared. So to ensure that the system is in balance mode, so the total centrifugal force must equal to zero. So this is the equation which is uh, the total centrifugal force is equal to the centrifugal forces created by mass A plus centrifugal forces created by mass B and centrifugal forces created by mass C. What is uh, force 
polygon referring to this uh, same uh, principle of uh, rigid roto a b and c so let's say this is the uh, vector of uh, uh, centrifugal forces acting at a while the green one the green arrow is a vector of centrifugal forces of mass b and then c is representing by yellow arrow so again the total centrifugal forces must equal to zero to achieve the a balanced state so a closed po force polygon is representing a system which is in balanced mode so what we have to do is to construct a force polygon from the three uh, vector over here so this is representing the masses A followed by mass B and then followed by mass C. So the idea of constructing the force polygon is to ensure that the we, we got the closed force polygon. So we can consider that this system is actually in a balanced mode by understanding that we achieve the uh, closed force polygon. There is a few ways to do balancing of any unbalanced system so this one basically we are focusing on the static or single plane balancing so the method are first is by graphical approach which is we need to construct the force polygon number two is by analytical approach where we need to calculate the total centrifugal force let's say for this situation there is a three masses A, B and C so the overall centrifugal forces must be equal to zero but remember you need by the time you want to solve the equation you need to break into component of x and y before you do the uh, before you solving the equation okay proof the rotating equipment is in balanced state by constructing the force polygon taking an example of the same uh, system where it say that we have a three blades over here I say this is a stirrer or a shielding fan or whatever rotating is human with a three blades so each masses A, B and C is a 0 0.5 kilogram individually and then the orientation the degree orientation between the blade is 100 and 20 degrees. So what we need is to prove the rotating equipment either it is in a balanced state or not by constructing the force polygon. So what you need to do is to do a summary table. So what we have here is we have a blade A, B and C and then the mass each of the mass is 0 0.5 kilogram. Uh, B is 0 0.5 and again the radius is 1 meter individually and then we need to measure the angle uh, measuring from A like say like say we are taking from A 
it could be taken from C or it could be taken from positive and exit. And then uh, we need to uh, times the M times R so we get the uh, answer of uh, uh, in kgm so what we have here for a we have the magnitude of 0 0.5 kgm and then the same to others also so what we need to do is so we need to draw the vector uh, according to the uh, orientation of the uh, orientation of the masses so step by uh, step by mass a using a proper scale uh, let's say here i'm taking 0 0.5 kgm is equal to 50 mm which means that a 50 mm length of line uh, i draw is equal to 0 0.5 kgm so step from a i will draw according to the orientation which is a 50 mm length followed by uh, mass B or vector B which is 0 0.5 kgm followed by uh, vector C so the system now is in balance mode since we achieve the uh, closed force polygon so basically that's all uh, for introduction of the uh, static balancing. Thank you very much.